be a little mental note there. Um, obviously, we didn't have this 87 was there. That answer is solved, but that wasn't given to you in the problem. OK, so if you guys look at this, these are, again, some triangles with some congruent parts. And what we want to do is just kind of see which one of these actually have congruency statements. So so over here, we have angle side angle. Does that prove congruency? Yes. yes. All right, very good. That's a good one. This, uh, this would be angle angle angle. angle, angle, angle. Does that prove congruency? Yes. Couldn't you have a 60, 60, oh, yeah. 60 triangle really small and then a really big oh, 60, yeah. 60, 60, 60 triangle? Yeah. yeah. So that proves similarity, not congruency. OK? Um, right, ratio is similarity, not congruence. Yeah. So then here, this one is? Side, angle, side. And does that prove congruency? Yes. 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 This one is? Congruency? No. Are they, if they have all three sides the same, yeah. are they have to be the same triangle? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Congruency, exact, uh, uh, equal measure, equal size, right? Mm -hmm. si uh, angle, angle side? Mm, yeah. Yes, that does prove congruency. Um, and then what about side, side, angle? No, 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 no. Yes? Yes. No. Because they both yes. have things, no. and then it'll have yes. to be like a yes. thing. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Yes. It's yes. No. Please. And it's kind of complicated. It's not no or yes, actually. Do you guys remember this? Side side angle is a yes no. Because remember, hypotenuse leg. Do you guys remember the hypotenuse leg theorem? If it's a side side angle, but it's a right triangle, then it does prove congruency. If it's a side side angle, not a right triangle, then it does not. So maybe we should do this. Maybe we should say side side angle, no, but side side angle, hypotenuse leg, which is 90 degrees, yes. So it's complicated, OK? Um, now, we're going to spend the rest of class investigating this complicated issue, all right? Um, now, let's go ahead and look at what angles, which problems we've already covered. Because this will be important. And I'd recommend you guys having this written down so you guys kind of have like just a idea of you know categorizing these. The first example I gave you guys was what type of triangle? Angle side. Right. So what is it? Angle side angle. So you guys know that that is a law of sines type of problem. So if you have a triangle like with this, you can you apply the law of sines and we worked it out perfectly fine. The next angle I the next problem I gave you was a angle side angle. Side angle right? So angle side angle we can use the law of sines as well. As well. Oh, that was the angle side angle. Oh, you guys were talking about the other one. Or I was talking about the other one. The other one is a side angle angle. Angle angles or angle angle side. Okay. Um, so now obviously this one we're not gonna be able to solve because it doesn't prove any kind of congruency, right? So this one's not really helpful. Yes. We'll be doing law of cosines next class for that. Um, so for these two, like we can't use the law of sines, or we at least haven't seen them. Well, guess what? We're going to have to use the law of cosines. So that's what we'll do next class period. OK? So for this one, what do we do? Is it the law of sines, or is it the law of cosines? Well, it actually is the law of sines, so it's going to be today's lesson. But as I mentioned, guys, it's complicated, right? So this is what we call the ambiguous case. All right? And that's important for you guys to recognize. The first two examples I showed up here, you don't really need to worry about solving the missing measure or finding the area. They're good, right? But you need to like have your alerts go up when you see something that's a side-side angle. Because when it's a side-side angle, you know it's complicated. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, and we'll talk. We'll I'll get a little bit more in depth on this in a second, um, from there. But that is what we call the ambiguous case. Okay.